Well, hello there, folks. It's Pete Jones here from Tiger Moth Tales. And, um, yeah, the new album, uh, The Turning of the World, uh, will be released, or, or may already be released by the time you're watching this. And this is kind of a follow-up album from The Whispering of the World, which I did back in 2020. And um, it's kind of similar in that it deals with a lot of personal little moments that I try to sort of get to the bottom of and bring out the meaning that's there, uh, if any. And um, the, the, the over, overriding or over, overwhelming theme of the album is, is change and the fact that the world is turning and it's changing. And um, put bluntly, it's a bit like, well, if you don't like it, it doesn't matter because you've got to get on with it anyway. But we'll try and search for the uh, profundity a bit more in it uh, than that. And it's, um, it's a, a song-based album, so a bit like The Whispering of the World in that aspect. And I really wanted to get back to writing songs on, on the guitar, because back in my bachelor days, I used to do all my writing on the guitar, usually about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. And I'd just pick it up, because it was hung up somewhere in the, in the bedroom, and I'd just pick it up and... And something would something would come out more often than not, and um, and I don't do that so much with prog because well it's too too flipping complicated for one thing you know, I can't I can't write prog on the guitar so I'm usually sat at the keyboard in the studio and I thought I want to get back to that sort of guitar feel uh, so that's what I've done with this album not at three o'clock or four o'clock in the morning because the wife would probably have something to say about that but um, but yeah that's that's more of the the feel of the album and. Um, I used my lovely Line 6 Variax uh, for a lot of the songs. And um, yeah, really pleased with how it's it's come out. There's There are some personal songs on the album. Um, I wrote a song about my dad who was very seriously ill towards the end of last year. And um, well, we weren't sure what was gonna happen. And um, thankfully he's, uh, he's doing really well and um, so yeah, that was one of the songs that came a bit later on in the process. I've been working on this in terms of writing for about uh, a year and a half, I think. And as with many of the personal songs, uh, it's, it can be a bit like pulling teeth. So it, they, 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 they've come along as and when they're ready and I've had to coax them out of their shells, so to speak. <laughs> And um, yeah, so there's a lot of songs about change and perseverance, uh, just trying and uh, trying to get through obstacles of life. There's a nice little track, well I think it's nice, about the, the lock keeper, which was based on a poem that somebody I went to school wrote about 35 years ago, and it always stuck with me and I tried to sort of recapture that feeling. And again, that's about change uh, with the locks being sort of automated and uh, as they were back in the day when things moved on. And yeah, so there's a lot of stuff like that and with a, an acoustic vibe. Uh, there's also the song We'll Remember, which is my tribute to uh, the, the late, great Dave Longdon, who of course we so sadly lost back in uh, 2021. And yeah, well, that, was, that was a, a hard one. To, to, to write, but I, I wrote it uh, contrastingly fairly quickly um, compared with the others, but it was not long after his passing, and I just wanted to play to pay tribute to him and uh, his his music and his and the and the joy that he brought to so many people. So that's the track we'll remember, and uh, there's even a bit of a, a, a love song as well on there to to my uh, my good lady, which is something that. I have not done for a long time because, as, as I say, uh, I've been doing all this, all the prog stuff, and it just didn't quite seem to seem to fit somehow. But on this album, it did. So when I say it's um, more song-based, hopefully there's a, there's a, there's enough in there to interest the the proggers out there, and uh, well, certainly I hope so. And I think the people that have been following me for all this time uh, will be into into the stuff. Let's hope so. Anyway. So, folks, yes, that's, that's the uh, the turning of the world, a bit like the whispering of the world in its in its nature, more song based, and I had a lot of fun doing it, and it was nice to get back to that 
guitar style. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> 